Ever wondered what would happen if that little rubber belt under your hood suddenly snapped at 70 miles per hour? Hey everyone, Brian here, and today we're diving into something that strikes fear into many drivers. What actually happens when your timing belt snaps while you're driving? Let me be clear right off the bat, this is a mechanical emergency that can turn catastrophic in milliseconds. Unlike many car problems that give you warning signs and time to react, a timing belt failure is instant and devastating. When your timing belt suddenly breaks while driving, here's the brutal reality of what happens. First, your engine immediately dies. And I mean immediately. One second you're driving normally. The next, your car has no power whatsoever. There's no gradual slowdown, no stuttering, just instant shutdown. Why? Because that timing belt is synchronizing your engine's critical components. The crankshaft and camshaft. When that synchronization is lost, your engine simply cannot function. But the real damage happens in fractions of a second after the belt snaps. In most modern cars, the pistons and valves physically occupy the same space in the cylinder, just at different times. When the timing belt breaks, this precision choreography fails dramatically. Your pistons continue their motion while valves stop in their tracks. The result? High-speed collisions between pistons and valves inside your engine. Think about it. Metal striking metal at thousands of revolutions per minute. These impacts can bend valves, damage pistons, and even crack your cylinder head or engine block. I've seen engines where valves have been completely sheared off or driven straight through the piston tops. The damage is instantaneous and usually severe enough to require a complete engine rebuild or replacement. We're talking thousands of dollars in repairs, often more than the car's value for older vehicles. And there's no limping home when this happens. Your car is dead in its tracks, requiring a tow to the nearest repair facility. The frustrating part? This catastrophic failure is almost entirely preventable with proper maintenance with just a little investment. Your vehicle manufacturer specifies when to replace the timing belt, typically between 60,000 and 100,000 miles, depending on your make and model. This isn't a suggestion. It's a critical maintenance item designed to prevent exactly this scenario. The timing belt itself isn't particularly expensive, and while replacement labor can add up, it's a tiny fraction of what you'll pay for engine repairs after a failure. So here's my honest advice. Check your owner's manual right now for your timing belt replacement interval. If you're approaching or past that mileage, don't gamble with your engine's life. Schedule that replacement today. Additionally, if you like prevention like me, I would recommend replacing your belt every 50,000 miles or every five years, whichever comes first. While timing belts usually fail without warning, sometimes there are subtle signs. Unusual ticking noises, engine misfires, or difficulty starting. If you notice any of these, get your vehicle checked immediately. Remember folks, this isn't about upselling you on unnecessary service. It's about preventing one of the most catastrophic and expensive failures your vehicle can experience. And a huge potential for an accident. Got questions about your timing belt? Or need clarification on anything we covered today? Drop them in the comments below. And as always, drive safely and maintain wisely. This is Brian, the Honest Mechanic, signing off until next time.